one of the best burgers I've ever had. And that pretzel bun was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. How do you think they do that? I don't know. Do you think it's the flour? Kyle, enough about the goddamn pretzel bun. Yes, maybe it was delicious. Okay. I'm just saying that Oh that my God. <laughs> Nothing. I just no. I uh, I just can't with you. So never mind. Bye. Fair enough. Oh, you want to hear some music? I do not. Thank you. You know, uh, Dr. Holman said that we should talk about this stuff as it comes up. So she also said, "Don't obsess over shit." That's true. Come on, work with me here. It's just that. When you incessantly talk about shit, it drives me up the goddamn wall. I remember Dr. Holman said about cursing, that it's like stabbing someone with little knives made of hurtful words. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, okay. No, you are correct. That's correct. Let me rephrase myself for you. Um, darling, when you talk about the same thing over and over again, you know, it just kind of gets really irritating. And it kind of just drives me Bonkers! Oh God, is that word okay for you? Yeah. Yeah, bonkers works for me. Oh, okay, good. And I want to say to you oh, mm -hmm. that I appreciate your honesty, oh. and I will do my best to not do that anymore. Oh well, thank you. God, that would be terrific. That burger was really good. Where'd you find this place? Dr. Holman recommended it. She said it was a great place to work things out. Hmm. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm about earlier. It's okay. I mean, it's why we came here in the first place, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll take this. Okay. It's a bear. Yeah, what's up? Kyle, you need to stop ignoring my calls. Oh, I, I told you I was on vacation with my wife this weekend. Well, that's sweet and all, but we need to talk business. I told you that we would talk on Monday. Who the hell do you think these guys are, Kyle? They're gonna break your fucking legs. <laughs> you just be melodramatic. Come on. I'm serious. They don't fuck around. You don't welch on these guys. You just don't. Unless you want to wind up like Johnny Mendoza. Who the fuck is Johnny Mendoza? If you have to ask, then you're fucked. That's all I gotta say. I just need to tell them you're gonna get them their money. Well, I don't have it. Hello? Are you still there? You are fucked. Let me see what I can do. I'll call you tonight. Kyle? What are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, mom called. She just, uh, wanted to make sure that we made it here okay. Oh, that's sweet of her. Mm. Come here. This is our weekend, so no phones. Boop, okay. Okay, sounds great. <sighs> Okay, 
Turn around. Why? Because I don't want you to see where the key is. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. You want to go for a hike? Ooh. Oh! Ah. Jesus, why did we have to do this? Oh, come on, it's not so bad. Ah! Oh my god, are you okay? Oh. Peachy! It's not too much farther. What's not too much farther? We'll see. Oh! See, isn't it nice? It it's so beautiful. Wow. You're right. <laughs> I told you. It's nice. <laughs> Crying shame, too. Pretty. Just ignore him. Oh no, come up here. I'm gonna die. What did he say? Mm. Gonna die. Mm. He's coming. He's coming for you. Hey, hey, look, buddy. Listen, my wife and I were just trying to enjoy ourselves here and oh, God. you don't get it. Man is coming for you. He's evil. You're a goddamn evil. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, okay. The man is coming for you! What do you think that guy was talking about? <laughs> what guy? <laughs> what do you mean what guy? That weird guy at the end of the trail. Oh, I don't know. He's probably just drunk, babe. He probably didn't mean anything by it. Well, I mean, who was he talking about? I mean, who does he think is trying to kill us? <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Just relax. I'm sure he doesn't mean anything. People talk nonsense all the time. Mm -hmm. hmm. If you say so. Is the pretzel bun? Of course it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I was thinking we should try one of those exercises Dr. Holman suggested. Really? Yeah. Um, Come on, that's why we're up here, Kyle. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. I think it's time for Honesty Hour. We really have to play that one? Yeah. Fine. Okay. All right. Um, I would like to admit mm -hmm. that I took $500 out of our savings account to buy a new purse the other day. What? I know. I'm not proud of it, but it did happen. You know we really can't afford that right now, right? I know. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. I, <laughs> I, I can handle this calmly. Oh, great. <clears throat> Honey. Uh-huh. Jessica. Uh-huh. You know we really can't afford to be spending money like that on purses. I know. Would you possibly be willing to return it? Oh, yeah. I'd be willing to do that. Except for, I 
It, except for what? <sighs> except for what, Jessica? I was going to say, except for... I can't really return the purse. Why can't you return it? Well, you know the fountain at the Grove? Yeah, I know the fountain at the Grove, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I was sitting next to the fountain, watching the water show. You know, the one with the music, where the water sprays up and down and up and down. <laughs> Anyways, um, the purse may have dropped into the water. What, are you fucking serious? You ruined a $500 purse? Kyle, this is a non-judgmental exercise. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. What are you doing? <sighs> I'm trying to not lose my shit right now. Well, what the hell, Kyle? What do you want me to say? That I'm sorry? Okay, babe, I'm really sorry. It's a really cute purse. Now it's ruined. Fuck the purse. I want the $500. Oh my god. Why are you yelling? Why am I... Hey, it's your turn. My turn for what? It's honesty hour. You have to tell me something you did wrong. Well, <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> Come on. And, well, I, what? I haven't. Kyle, I know you. Well, what is that supposed to mean? You would bet on if a dog takes a shit or not. You're telling me you haven't gambled at all lately? Yeah, well, that's exactly what I'm telling oh. you, even though I didn't actually say that. Kyle, I'm not judging you. It's okay. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Hmm? But I haven't done anything wrong. I am clean. I am clean as a preacher's sheets. Clean as a preacher's sheets. What the hell kind of old saying is that? It's a, you know, it's a, it's just a, you know, we, we should just drop this. We should just drop it. Can we just drop this for my own freaking sanity? Okay. <sighs> Do you want to like fool around or something? Woof. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Oh, yeah, you like that? Yeah, that's sexy. Dave, tell me you got good news for me. Hello. Would you like to get rid of your credit card debt? We can help. The fuck? <sighs> wow. That was something. You can sleep on the couch tonight, okay?
Kyle? Kyle, wake up. Kyle, mm. get your ass up! Ah! <laughs> Morning. Oh, it's almost noon. Oh, well, shit. Why did we come up here, Kyle? Hmm? Tell me. To, uh... To work on our marriage. That is correct. Does this look like we're working on our marriage? It does not. Bingo! It does not. But you know what? We're not going to fail. This marriage is not going to fail. Except for my parents. Every goddamn marriage in my family has failed. And we are going to be the exception. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. It's impossible not to hear you. Could I maybe get an aspirin? You know, my sister got a divorce. My aunt got a divorce. All of my cousins. It's not going to happen to us. Because we are strong. We're going to beat the odds. We are going to beat the goddamn odds. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear you, Jesus. I hear you. Good. Good. So, what would you like for breakfast? Oh, no, I, uh... Oh, my God, pancakes! I'm going to make pancakes. <laughs> Such a good idea. Yeah, great. Whatever you want. By the way, I hid the key. You'll never find it this time. <laughs> what? That's right. It's just you and me up here, and we're going to work things out, no matter what it takes. Do you want strawberries in your pancakes? Fuck my life. What was that? I said I love my wife. Okay. You're doing so great. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, about a foot in front of you, there's a rock about six inches tall. You're going to want to go around it. Okay. All right. Oh. I said you should go around it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yay, baby, we did it. Yay. <sighs> okay, it's your turn. Jess, this is really dumb. No, it's not really dumb. It is, though. Okay, I'm going to put it on you. <laughs> Okay. Okay, wait. Wait here. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, can you hear me? I hear you. Okay. Walk towards me slowly. Slowly. Okay, not that slowly. We're going to be here all day. Well, shit. How is this supposed to help our marriage? It helps build trust. Oh. Well, I would trust you a lot more if you wouldn't spend $500 on a purse. Just saying. Awesome, baby. Yeah? Follow my voice. Follow, Follow my voice. Keep coming. You're doing great, babe. Yeah? Mm-hmm. This is good. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> How's your head doing, baby? Right as rain. I swear, I didn't see that rock. Yeah. What was that? I think it was probably just an animal or something. Why don't you get washed up for dinner? I'll be ready in about 10. Okay. Hey, uh, listen, I know things kind of got off to a rocky start, but uh, I don't think we're actually making some progress. Yeah, I do too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Good. Go get washed up. Sure thing, maybe. Okay. This is good. Thank you. Not hungry? Oh, <laughs> not really. 
What are you nervous about? What do you mean? I mean, you only rub your hands together like that when you're nervous. Oh. <laughs> Probably just have some anxiety, that's all. <laughs> Probably nothing. Maybe I'll take some Xanax. Uh, you want to maybe go easy on those, they uh, tend to knock you out. I'm sure I'll be fine. So, what do you want to do? I have an idea. What's this game called? It's called The Midnight Man. <sighs> Was this one of those games that Dr. Holman came up with? Yes, but I first heard about it when I was a kid. Hey, listen, all these supernatural games that you were into was cute when we were dating, but come on now, you're 30 years old. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, fine. Okay. How do you play? Okay, so... You hold the lit candles in your hands mm -hmm. and you say, Midnight man, midnight man, I invite you in. Then you knock on the door seven times, then you open the door, <sighs> blow out the candle, and close the door. And then what happens? And then you wait for the midnight man. Who's the midnight man? A ghost. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Because it's fun. Is it though? Yeah. Come on. Oh, I'll go first. I know. Come on, babe. Okay. It'll be fine. Light my candle. Mm. Okay. Midnight man, midnight man, I invite you in. Spooky. Your turn. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Hey, be nice. Midnight man, midnight man, I invite you in. Oh, look, it's the scary midnight man coming in to kill us. Come in, Mr. Midnight Man. Before you kill us, maybe you should warm your little cold tootsies by our fire. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. What you reading? It's a book I found in the bedroom, Haunted Big Bear Lake. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah? Well, it was either this or Little Women and this one out. Hey. Hey. Thanks. For what? For putting up with me. I know you're not really into all the stuff I like to do. Yeah. Actually, it was kind of fun. <laughs> hey, did the Midnight Man ever show up? <laughs> no. Well, if he shows up after you fall asleep, I'll be sure to say hi for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, tell me some good things. Good things? Mm-hmm. Well, despite my up and down attitude about it, I'm actually enjoying our little getaway so far. I mean, I know why we're here, but you know, I've kind of started to think of it as like a kind of vacation. Yeah. It's all about having a good experience. Don't you agree? Jessica? Hey. Out like a light. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go back. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on.
it's gonna be like that, huh? Hey! Oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> Oh, you're a fast one, I'll give you that. Don't don't do that. What? Just just don't don't hit me, please. I can't go to auditions with bruises on my face. Wait, what's going on here? Your wife. What about my wife? She hired she hired me to do this. She hired you to kill me? What? No, 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 no. She, she, she said something about you guys having marriage problems, and she thought that maybe if there was a guy after you that it might, like, you know? She thought it would bring us closer together? Yes. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought it was weird too, but I was like, you know what? I need the money. This knife isn't real, by the way. Look at this, huh? Blah, blah, blah. Hi, my name's Billy. Kyle. Yeah, no, I, I know. That's weird. She didn't even wake up with all the yelling and shit. And she took a bunch of Xanax. She'll be out till morning. Oh, that's great. Um, God, this is just not any of my business, but you guys have a really weird relationship. You think? I do. Yeah, have you ever thought about like, I don't know, couples therapy or something? We are in therapy. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, if I were you, I would just, I would like go in there and I would try to get my money back because that shit ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, yeah. So, uh, you're an actor. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, really? Been in a couple of B movies. Yeah. Have you, perhaps you've seen Lake of Blood 7. Huh? And, no, you know, before you say anything, I don't mean Blood Lake. It's an entirely different franchise that I am not a part of, even though I've tried several times. Like, I've gotten in there in front of the casting director, and I feel like I'm given everything, and she's given nothing. Okay. So you're an actor? Yeah. Right, so how much did Jess pay you? Uh, 500 bucks. You know, oh, and, and then a little extra for the motel. Jesus Christ. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Did she pay that crazy guy in the woods to say all that crazy shit about somebody coming to kill us? Um, no. I think that was just some drunk guy talking shit. <laughs> and she doesn't know about this? Hey, Billy. How'd you like to make a couple extra bucks? A sandwich? Here you go. How'd you sleep? I slept pretty good. You must be hungry. Not really. Hey, uh, did the Midnight Man come last night? <laughs> no. No, he didn't. Hey. What do you keep looking out there for? Um, just looks like a really, really nice day, baby. Oh, it is. It is. It's really nice. Hmm. Hey, you want to go on another hike? Yeah? What the hell? You didn't want to do this the other day. I had a change of heart. Oh, look at that view. Oh. Yeah, I know. We were just here two days ago. You're back, you wolf. He didn't kill you. Dude, what are you talking about? Talk about the boogeyman. The boogie woogie man. The what? Hey, listen, man. Seriously, do you, uh, what do you need? Some money or something? Or Fuck you, man. I don't need your goddamn charity. I got my pride. Thank you very much. Hey, wait. Who's the boogeyman? It's pure evil, lady. Come at you when you least expect it. Like in those old-time horror movies. 
from the 80s. Old time horror movies from the 80s, huh? He'll get you too, pretty boy. He's haunted these woods for decades. He ain't gonna slow down now. And it don't always look the same. So it's different. So why hasn't he taken you? He will. Just a matter of time. You folks, have a blessed day. <laughs> All I'm saying is that maybe you were right. Maybe we should get out of here. Just all that stuff that guy was saying really creeped me out. Oh, come on. A guy was just drunk. No, I don't know. It just seemed off. Hey, don't worry about it. Plus, I'm starting to really like it here. What is wrong with you? What? I'm just happy to be here with my wife. That's all. Ba -ba -boop. Uh! You seem chipper. Well, why shouldn't I be chipper? No, it's good. I took a look at the lockbox earlier. Did you try to force it open with something? Why would you say that? Oh. I don't know. Maybe because there were scratches all over the face of the lock. <laughs> Look, why do you need your phone so badly, Kyle? Because we live in the 21st century and everyone needs their phone. It's like a, a hat or a horse was back in the Old West. Oh, good analogy. Dinner's ready. Great. So, uh, what do you want to do tonight? I don't know. You want to try Midnight Man again? What? Yeah, yeah. I think maybe we should give it another try. He didn't really seem to care the other day. Well, what can I say? You were persuasive. Come on, grab the candles. So, I found a book on seances in the second bedroom. What kind of weird-ass books do they have in this place? I know, right? Well, it turns out we played the game wrong yesterday. What do you mean? You're supposed to put a little drop of blood into the flame before you say the chant and you knock on the door. <laughs> okay, you're crazy. All right, hold this. Okay. <clears throat> midnight man, midnight man, I invite you in. Guess he doesn't want to visit me today. Okay, your turn. Kyle, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not fun. Oh, come on. We're having a good time. No, it's just that everything that that guy said today, it just really freaked me out. Hey, he was probably just drunk. Don't worry about him. Hey, we're having a good time here. Don't you love this kind of thing? I even got you your own safety pin. Oh, that's so romantic. Plus, I sterilized it for you. Oh. God, get it over with. Mm. Ow! Midnight man, midnight man, I invite you in. Guess he doesn't want to visit you either. <gasps> He was attacking us. No, he wasn't. Billy, Billy, can you hear me? Shit. Yeah, that won't be necessary. Yeah, I need to call the hospital. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Okay, Billy, you can get up now. Oh, thank God. These things are not built for comfort. <laughs> you knew? You're such an asshole! That's so fucked up! Is it? 
Is it more fucked up than paying someone to scare us? Come on, this isn't couples therapy anymore, Jessica. This is fucking insane. Dr. Holman put you up to this, didn't no, he? No, she yes. didn't. Yes. No, she didn't. Yes. It was my idea. I just thought that maybe... So if we're finished here, I was thinking I would just get back to L.A. tonight, you know, catch a show, whatever. Yeah, 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 we'll take care of you. I just need to check these messages real fast. Kyle, you really need to call me ASAP. Some shit is gonna go down. Kyle, why aren't you picking up your phone? Call me. You look nice. Hey, it's me. Look, I can't hold these guys off anymore. I've done all I can. You need to call me. Holy shit, man. I just had a visit from those guys. They broke my arm and my goddamn nose. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't, I, I told them where you are. Kyle, I just found out they're sending someone for you. You really need to get the fuck out of there, now! End of messages. Kyle, who is that? sunshine well not really it's almost 10 p.m. but that's just a figure of speech that you probably know who are you what do you want there's so many questions I'm not exactly sure why you feel you're in a position to ask questions given the circumstances I'll indulge you they call me Hamilton no, that's not my real name. That's what they call me. And you know what I want. Well, I don't have any money. Oh, my bosses figured that out. They don't usually send me out to collect if a person does have money. Are you a hitman? Hitman? If I were a hitman, you'd be dead. No. I'm an accountant. An accountant? Yes. I'm an accountant. And right now you're fucking up my books. You see, I have this thing about order. I like my clients' books to be nice and balanced. When people don't pay their debts, it fucks up my balance. And then everything gets fucked. You understand? Fucked. You get it? Not if you understand. Do you um have any cheese? By any chance? Do you have any cheese? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think we have some cheese, yes. Oh. In the fridge. Well, I looked in there earlier, I didn't see any. Oh. In the fridge, is Oh, but did you uh, maybe check the uh, second shelf, bottom, left, in the back? All right. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. My friend, thank you so much. <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, that's terrible. This cabinet tastes like dirt and nail polish remover. Although I did buy it from the gas station down the corner. So what was I expecting, right? Also, let me just say that uh, I really hate coming to these out of the way 
country ass places, you wouldn't understand. But a bald black man wearing a suit draws a lot of attention around here, let me tell you. Oh, she's fine. She'll be okay. What happened to Billy? Oh, he's dead. What? Well, I hit him a little too hard. It's a damn shame, but it's occupational hazard, you know? I can't believe you... I can't believe you killed Billy. What, what did you do with his body? In the trunk of your car. Which was not easy, let me tell you. Let's get right down to the nitty gritty. Oh. We need to figure something out here, Kyle. Because as you can imagine, I can't go back to my bosses empty handed. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You like this music, by the way? Good, right? Mm. It's my buddy's band. Oh. They're great. Nobody listens to jazz anymore. People just want rap and auto tunes. Ain't that fucked up? I mean, really, ain't that fucked up? Uh, <sighs> Kyle, what happened? Evening, ma'am. Oh my God! Why are we tied up? Who are you? Kyle, who is this? It's complicated. No, it's not. Your husband owes my bosses 50 large and I'm here to collect. $50,000? I'm sensing there's a lack of communication here. Oh my god, $50,000? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. You said you gave up gambling. I did, but... But, but what, Kyle? There's a guy here who's gonna kill us. <laughs> and you are giving me shit about buying a $500 purse. God damn, you people need a therapist. We have a therapist. No shit, who? Dr. Holman, West LA. Seriously? No, no, really. I go to her, too. What kind of dumbass exercises has she got you all doing? Oh, God, the blindfold thing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We did that one, too. My husband tricked me into walking into a goddamn tree. Oh, my God, where's, where's Billy? Oh, he, um... He let him go. Yeah. I didn't have any business with Fat Boy. So I let him go. Oh, thank God. Well, you want to talk about fucked up? How about paying somebody to pretend to kill us? Why did you ring up so much gambling debt and now there's somebody here who's gonna actually kill us? Ooh, good gracious. You people are worse than me and Brad. This is spicy. I'm so, so sorry, but I really am a voyeur. I love seeing couples interact. So? What's gonna happen here? That depends. Mm, mm. That's terrible. So, your husband here owes a substantial amount of money, and my books need to balance. Preferably, I'd like to get that payment in cash, which I'm assuming you don't have. All right. Scratch cash payment 
off the list of options. In the absence of money, I need something that's worth 50 grand. We don't have anything worth $50,000. Have you seen our car? Don't you know? Let's see. If you owe $20,000, I could break your legs. But then again, you don't have two and a half legs to break. Maybe we could work out some sort of a, a payment plan. <gasps> Oh, 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 payment plan. Sure. I could go tell my bosses, hey guys, Kyle is going to pay every month like he's buying a couch on layaway. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That solves everything, right? No. It doesn't fly. Maybe I could call my parents and ask them for the money. <laughs> There's no way your parents are going to give you that much money. You don't know that. Come on, they wouldn't help us with the rent that time we were going to get evicted. Oh, that's ice cold. Please just let me try. Okay. All right. But no funny business. Got me? Okay. Hello? Mom? Mom, hi, hi. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I know it's late. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow, he ate the whole thing, huh? Look, Mom, look, I'm sorry to have to cut you off, but Kyle and I are kind of in a situation here. No, Mom, I'm not pregnant. Don't sound so happy. Well, fuck, don't sound so sad either. Look, can I talk to Dad, please? Well, damn. Look, Mom, okay, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but Kyle and I are in a lot of trouble. We're, we need $50,000. No, Mom, Mom, stop laughing. Look, Mom, I can assure you that we need the help. It is life or death. No, I am not drunk. God, Mom, please, please, I assure you. Look, do you want to see your daughter and your son-in-law die? Mother, we have been over this. He is your son-in-law. You are going to have to accept that, okay? Mom, please. Mom! Mom! So she hung up. So, we're back where we started. Some colorful relationships you've got here. Please, Jessica hasn't done anything wrong. Please, just let her go, and you can do whatever you want to me. Kyle. Please. I mean, you know I'm right. I know you're a fair man. Eh, I admit you're not wrong. Okay, this is the only fair thing I can think of. You're going to decide how he pays his debt. What? What do you mean? He owes 50,000 or something worth 50,000. You're going to choose what that is. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sure you do. Come on. Look, I, I cannot tell you how to hurt my husband. I can't do that. Sure you can. You people are one step away from killing each other anyway. This way you can just, you know, just hurt him a little. Because <laughs> let's be honest, you, you, you are angry that he was gambling behind your back, right? No, Jessica, Jessica, don't, don't listen to him. Let me make it easy for you. Ah. Since I'm a nice guy, and I don't know, uh, there's something about young love that kind of pulls at my heartstrings. 
I'm give you two choices. A, he can lose his pinky toe. B, he can lose his two front teeth. Oh, no, I can't, I can't choose that. What? Well, you're gonna have to, or else I'm gonna do both. I mean, let's be real about this. This is much better than me breaking both of his legs, isn't it? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you guys a discount here. So, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Time's up, what's it gonna be? Please, please don't make me choose this. Afraid I'm gonna have to, and your answer is... Toe, take the toe, take the toe, please. <laughs> Great choice. Makes sense because he can always cover it up with his shoe. But the other way, he'd have to get dentures. <laughs> I do believe that you really, really do care for this man. Oh. <laughs> uh, just hold on for a second. Let me grab a knife and I'll be right back, folks. Jessica, what the hell? What? Would you have rather he'd take your teeth? Well, we ready? You don't have to do this. Stop whining. Come on! Nobody forced you to take money from us, okay? There was no gun to your head. You did it knowing that you couldn't pay. Now it's time to sack up and face the consequences. All right, Chief, let's have that leg. Get it up. Oh, all right. Oh, man. Oh, that stinks. That's, that's, do, you, do you see these touches? OK. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had enough. My dad's calling! And this little piggy went wee 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 ah! Oh, no. What, 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 what? My dad, he's calling! Can anything go right tonight? Oh, okay, my dad's calling. No funny business, okay? Okay. Dad? Hi, hi. No, uh, I, I tried to explain it to mom earlier. Well, yeah, we're, we're kind of in a lot of trouble right now. There's a guy here and he, he wants to collect on some gambling debts. Well, it's kind of a lot of money. $50,000. Mm -hmm. Please don't yell, dad. Look. I really need your help right now. I have never asked for money before, please. Okay, okay, thank you. He hung up. Well? He's gonna give us the money. Yes! <laughs> Thank God! Oh! Oh! Under one condition. What? He wants me to leave you. What? So look, <clears throat> my parents live really close, so it'll be two hours round trip. It's just that... Half of it's going to be in cash, and the other half is going to be in a watch and some jewelry. Is that okay? Do I look like a pawn shop to you? Well, at least now you get something more valuable than Kyle's foot. Wait, wait, Jess. I, mean, I don't know that I want this. I, I don't want to lose you. Kyle... I think at some point we're just gonna have to realize that maybe this isn't gonna work out. I mean, we've been working really hard on this for a long time. It's just getting worse and worse. Maybe this is for the best. But I know, I know. 
let's just be honest with ourselves for a minute, okay? I mean, I think that's kind of been our problem all along. Lack of honesty. I mean, we're obviously not honest with each other. I don't even know if we're honest with ourselves. That is so beautiful. Look, what do you say? Okay, but here are the rules. You got two hours. One minute later, and you'll never ever find this guy ever again. The same thing goes for any cops that crash our party. If I so much as get a smell of any bacon, he's done for. Now you got me. Mm -hmm. Two hours. Looks like we've got a little more time to spend together. This calls for more wine. Want some? Sure. <laughs> My bag. Uh, all right. Now, I want to make sure you don't do anything stupid and causes me to kill you before I get paid, okay? Mm. I'll touch that. There you go. And... Please. <laughs> Shitty, isn't it? Isn't there a TV or something around there? Nope. Fuck. So, uh, how did you and... Um, Jessica. Jessica. How did you and Jessica meet? You really want to hear that story? <clears throat> Better do something to pass the time, right? Okay. She hit me with her car. Come again? So I'm walking down Wilshire Boulevard, trying to cross the street, and I come to the corner, and the walk sign comes on. I start to cross, and Jessica comes barreling through the intersection, and she whacks me with the car. I go flying, I hit the ground. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm in excruciating pain. Jessica comes over and she's totally freaking out. And she rides to the hospital with me in the back of the ambulance. And when I wake up, there she is at the end of the bed. And I ask her out on a date. And here we are, two years later and six months into this marriage. No offense, <laughs> that's a fucked up story. No wonder you people are having problems. <laughs> she hit you, she hit you with a car. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess we just need more couples therapy. <laughs> oh, sorry. What you need is a fucking divorce, that's what you need. Her daddy might have been right. But then what would be the point of all this couples therapy? I mean, we put in so much work and time trying to save this thing. My God, are you blind? The point of therapy is to figure out how you two can live happy and healthy lives. If that means getting a divorce, then that's how the chips fall, my friend. Come on, you know I'm right. What's happening right here, right now, is the best therapy you can get. 
forcing you people to make damn decisions that matter. I don't want to get a divorce. Really? Then why do you gamble behind her back running up all this debt? I mean, you can't expect anyone to want to stick around if you do that to them. Oh, stop feeling bad for yourself, Kyle. You're just going to be a sad sack for the next hour and 47 minutes. Yeah. Take a drink. What happened there? Oh. Oh, we're playing another one of those stupid games. What's that? The game they play in prison where they take a knife and start stabbing around the fingers real fast? No, it's called Midnight Man. What did you say? Midnight Man. You heard of it? Yeah. I know about that shit. Your wife better hurry up and get back here real fast. Cause I'm not sticking around any longer than I have to. Roll with it, Billy. Oh, God, you know what? By the way, thanks so much for selling me out to my husband. Fucking coward. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna let him beat the shit out of me for $500. Being pretty is the only skill that I have, Jessica. <laughs> I, just, I really think I should go to the hospital. Shut up, Billy. Hey, man. Why you keep looking out that window? What are you so scared of? Why are you asking? I mean, you don't seem like the scared type. And when I mentioned that thing about the midnight man... Don't say that name. Please. Your wife's got about an hour. Then I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. So, man, uh, where are you from? Oh, come on, man. If we don't talk to each other a little bit here, this night's gonna go on and on. Where are you from? Compton. Why? Compton? Well, that's... That's something. I mean, I don't know a lot about Compton, but... It, it's a rough place, right? Yeah, Compton's a rough place. Gangbangers, uh... Shoot you for nothing. Wow. And, and you, you... Pulled yourself out of those circumstances. That, that's great. Your family must be really proud, right? I mean, you became an accountant for a... Reputable business and everything? Yeah. Mom's real thrilled. Yeah, and she should be. I mean, I mean, you worked hard to get where you are, right? I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to just throw that away. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's why I think that we should just walk away from this thing. I mean, is it really worth dying for this midnight, I mean, this late night guy? 
Come on. I'm just fucking with you, Kyle. I'm not being comfortable. And you don't know shit about me. Oh. Does that mean you're not gay? Yes. I'm not gay. Oh, maybe I am, and maybe I'm not. What about Dr. Holman? No, I've been a patient of hers for a while. Nice lady. Or oh, maybe I just got a packet of research on your wife and you before I came up here, and I'm lying about that, too. Here's the thing, Kyle. Why in the world would I tell you anything about myself? We're not friends. We're not dating. You don't need to know a goddamn thing about me. I'm just here to do a job. And that's it. Now, do you understand what I'm telling you? I'm beginning to understand. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Here, let me give you a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody trying to steal my act? Pretty fucked, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> See, man? It's probably just some kids fucking around. <laughs> right? Hamilton?
Hamilton? What the hell happened? Oh. <laughs> Long story. Kyle, is he back? I think so. Are you sure you're you? What do you mean I'm not sure I'm me? What do I look like? It's me, it's me, it's me. <sighs> Sounds about right. Are you the Midnight Man? The Midnight Man? The Midnight Man? Did he come? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You brought that fool's dead body in here? What kind of sick shit is no, that? No, he's not dead. Mm. Good morning. Oh. So look, uh, my wife got the money she promised you. All right, it's cash and it's jewelry, but it's all here. Oh, that's great and all. But I still haven't heard why the fuck I'm Tied to this goddamn chair! Because you were possessed and you tried to kill us. Is that reason enough? I was the Midnight Man? Yeah. And you tried to choke me to death. Look. Oh, I'm sorry. So look. If I untie you, and I give you this bag, will you just go, and will we be square? Yeah, we'll be square. Now, will you get me out of this goddamn chair, please? Okay, okay. Okay. Be careful, be careful. Okay, okay, okay. Your dad said that if you take this, you have to leave Cal, right? Are you willing to do that? I mean, hey, I get it. I mean, what you said is probably right. We'd definitely be happier if we were divorced. I mean, she deserves somebody better than me. I get it. Debt's paid. But Carl, if you ever, ever, ever in your life make a debt that you can't repay, I will collect next time. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Take care of her. She's a good one. You don't have to tell me that. Guys, have a great life. Okay. So what did your parents say about all this? Nothing I want to repeat. <laughs> hey, look, I, I know that we uh, just fought for our lives and everything, but uh, what do you think? Maybe we could go upstairs and... Uh, Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> you guys, you know, I was just...
Billy? Who's Billy? Want to get the fuck out of here. Hey, Billy, wake up. Jess? Billy, wake up. Oh, Jess. Do you need a ride back to the city? We're leaving. Uh, no, I'm good. I, I parked my car back at the motel, but thank you. Okay. Well, oh. then we'll take you to the motel. Come okay. on. Hey, right behind you. Doing a good job, guys. Come on, Billy. Billy, let's go. You don't have to yell at me. Well, I never want to see this goddamn place again. <laughs> me neither. It did help us, though. No, oh, I did. Still. Agreed. And no more gambling. Done. And no more expensive purses. <laughs> Jessica? There was no purse. I needed the money to pay Billy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice to meet you. Meet? We already met you a couple times, don't you remember? No shit. You really don't remember? No, whatever, man. Nice to meet you. By the way, watch out for that damn place. Watch out for what? Death. Bunch of folks. Get the big one in there. Really? How many? Uh, well, there was a four, and the other three, and a couple. Oh, but you're there. That was the five, and then that three more. That's three. How many? Uh, eight, see, 70. 80. Around that neighborhood. Get the hell out of here. 18 people? They say it's cursed. They say if you stay there overnight with bad intentions, it'll eat you alive. But yeah, probably just old ghost stories anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> people will believe anything, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> no rush, guys, but I'd really like to get back to the hotel. We'll, we'll get going in a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mission. Thank you so much again for all of your help. Yeah, you're welcome. It's just um, a little matter of, like, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, no hard feelings, right, big guy? None whatsoever. <laughs> hey, how the hell did you two meet anyway? Oh, remember that improv class I took last summer? Oh, I got yeah. it. Yeah. 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 You were great. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? 
Oh, so you two are staying together. I just, I wasn't sure that that was set in stone and we've had like a will they, won't they vibe all weekend, but I'm just really happy that that uh, worked out for you two. I should get going, you know? But uh, hey, do you think of any roles that I might be good for? Just go ahead, recommend me. My card is in your bag and thank you for the ride. Okay. So, okay. See you never. Take care guys. That's. Okay. Will they, won't they vibe? I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> what do you think? Maybe we should, uh, stop at your parents and drop that off, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> now as good a time as any. You can just tell him it's a big joke. Yeah, a joke. A joke. Uh, <laughs> we uh, yeah, just fifty thousand dollars. It's funny. I'll just follow your lead on that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do you say? Maybe uh, maybe after we do that, we stop and uh, get a bite to eat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could eat. Yeah. Yeah. Any ideas? Uh, Leave it completely up to you. Ooh, how about some burgers? Burgers sound good. Under one condition. What's that? Baby, they have to come with pretzels on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but only if you promise not to go on and on about them afterwards, because I know you love to do that. I do, I do, baby. Come here. <laughs>